I'm Scott Roberts, son of Steve Cheeseburger Roberts. Today we're out here at beautiful Smith Mountain Lake fishing a cheeseburger jig on these docks. I'm going to see if I can't show you guys how to catch one. One key thing is, is getting, getting that bait really, really close and getting it beside the dock. And, you know, if, if you... Let's just say you're fishing this dock here and you make this cast. You go like that and it, and it lands right there. That's no good. You've got to bring it back in and you've got to get it right next to that pole or dock or underneath it. That is definitely key. And again, as you've heard in the past from Cheeseburger, the big one of the big things of jig fishing is really keeping that slack in your line so the fish cannot feel you there. Just let it just let it quietly go down to the bottom. And 90% of the times the bites you get will be on the initial drop. Another thing that we do that a lot of people don't is the way we approach docks. A lot of people will just you know, kind of go down the bank and, and fish along and, and cast on the front of the dock. Well, we, we approach docks in a completely different way as we start at the back. Now, this dock I'm getting ready to fish is not a really good example because most people would fish this one right, I would think. But um, a lot of times you'll see a dock and, and there'll be a platform on the back that you can get under. And a lot of people, they just won't, they just won't hit them and you know it just that's a that's a big mistake so I'm gonna see if I can't catch one on this dock That should be him. Again, we're leaving that slack in the line and we're just popping the jig. Well, he's not there. <laughs> There he is. Oh, I missed him. Well, sometimes it happens. Okay, this is a good example right here of what I was speaking about as far as docks are concerned. A lot of people would just go straight and they would fish, you know, they'd cast that way. The way we approach these docks is we turn in and we go to, we actually go to the back and skip underneath these big platforms and 90% of the time that's where we get our bites. I think skipping a jig is, is very important to learn if you don't know how to do it and you want to be a consistent jig fisherman you've got to learn how to do that. Getting me. 